Hey you. Yeah, you. There's a long-kept secret that I'm here to expose to you. What comes to mind when I ask you to picture a medieval-style fight? Is it this? How about this? Or maybe even this? We thank thee, Lord, that in thy mercy. Come on, then! What? Have at you! Well, that was close, but no. I'm here to tell you that this is all a lie fabricated by Hollywood in order to keep your eyes wide shut to the truth, which is far more vicious. With the help of the developers at Yaza Games, you can see how the real medieval masterminds settled their disputes. Seven hundred years in the making, Inculinati is an upcoming turn-based strategy game based on the art from the medieval manuscripts where, and I'm quoting Yaza Games, a rabbit's bum can be deadlier than a dog's sword. As the name suggests, the main plot of the story revolves around a secret society dedicating their lives to the power of a magical substance called the Living Ink. After being trained in the ways of the Living Ink, your master is slain by death itself, and it is your goal to ascend and best your opponents in order to avenge your master and become the greatest Inculinati of all time. Some of the Inculinati are legends, like Dante, who came back from hell and became a little bit grumpy, or Godfrey, all powerful but childish. And there is me, the holy healer. But most of all, Inculinati Master, St. Hildegard. There are a handful of game modes, including local multiplayer, single player challenges, and of course, the single player campaign. Each player will control their Inculinati, who will use the power of the living ink in order to bring forth creations, whose goal is to defeat the enemy leader known as a tiny Inculinati. In order to do this, you must maneuver your units tactically around the map and strategically attack your enemies by using their weapons, your Inculinati's abilities, or even just pushing them off the edge of the manuscript. After a given number of turns, the battlefield becomes an apocalypse by adding enough fire that immediately defeats any unit that stands in its path, which helps the longer battles end quickly and can also give you that last act of desperation in order for you to turn the tide of battle. While that covers the general gist of the game, there are a few other things I'd like to cover about it as well. During your campaign, your tiny Inculinati has a boredom meter, where the game punishes you by raising the cost of the units that you frequently use. It's a genius way of making you diversify, and even if I liked a specific unit, I was always excited to see what else I could get, whether it be the Cat Priest. <laughs> a snail that instantly kills any unit it fights. <laughs> Or even the donkey bard whose farts put the enemy to sleep. I would say that the gameplay was my favorite part of the experience, but to be honest, as much as I enjoyed it, it is nothing compared to how much I appreciated the art of the game. Let's start off with a quick quiz. Look at this actual picture from a medieval manuscript and try to guess what animal it is. Yep, that's right. It's a chameleon. To be fair to the artist, they had never seen this animal before, and they were drawing it based on the descriptions and the stories they had heard from it. But that does bring us to the aspect of how fantastic the art for this game is. A main inspiration for this game came from the 12th century French manuscript known as, um, yeah, that phrase. But in this real manuscript, you can see dogs besieging a castle defended by rabbits. Compare the art of that manuscript to the game, and it's just spot on. Everything about this art is sublime, from the Spongebob-like hand to the actual script that records all that occurs in the battle. It really just immerses you into the game and gives you that extra special wow factor. Defeat other masters of ink and become a living legend. Alright, let's go ahead and get this out of the way. Please, Godfrey, if you would do the honors. This game 100% deserves a Procyon seal of approval. Everything about this game is just phenomenal. The amount of work and research that went into the inspiration of the game, mixed with the slapstick humor and the tactical puzzle combat, makes this game one that I will not be passing up on. 
I was going to make a complaint about the campaign feeling a little too long, but to be honest, now that the demo has been taken down, all I can think about is being able to play some more of the game. Yaza Games absolutely nailed this, and I can imagine that while this game may not be for everyone, those who do enjoy it will get more than their money's worth when it releases sometime this winter. Once again, shout out to my patron supporters, Relativity, Naughty Dogs King, and Rhonda Aaron's Mom Proctor. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video, and check out the description to see more about this game. My voice may have been off this week as I was sick for most of it, but I will hopefully be better before next week's video. Have a great rest of your day, and as always, be kind to one another.